The reason we're here today, though, is all across the country, parents uh, are also having a more troubling conversation, and that's about the risks of concussions. How protein builds up in the individual nerve cells, preventing them from making normal connections with other nerve cells and eventually killing the cells. There's a lot of uncertainty. Every season, you've got boys and girls who are getting concussions in, in lacrosse and soccer and wrestling and ice hockey, as well as football. Concussions are a major issue in football programs all across the country, and many people are struggling to describe a concussion's exact definition. I think it's easy to understand why there's misconceptions. I think historically concussions were not necessarily felt to be serious injuries. A lot of people will describe it as a bruising of the brain, and you could draw the analogy to any other kind of bruise or sprain. If you sprain your ankle or bruise your knee, you see the black and blue. Most of the technology that's been done in the past, of course, has dealt with like the helmet. And the helmet's been vastly improved from the early days. If you look at the old pictures of the football, the helmets were ridiculous. You might use the term, you know, someone got their bell rung, but not be too concerned. They were a little dizzy, maybe a little forgot a few things, but if they bounced back quickly, you didn't uh, worry much about it, and you really weren't uh, concerned about long-term consequences. They're better at preventing things like skull fractures. I mean, they're very good at that, but they still don't prevent concussions. And even improved helmet technology is only able to reduce an 80G impact to 40Gs. Really what occurs is when there's an amount of force that hits your skull, that hits your head, the skull is a tremendously strong protective bone, so your skull can withstand a tremendous amount of force. However, when that force hits your skull, your brain, just the opposite of your skull, is a very soft structure. There's padding between the interior layer of your skull and your brain. If you're hit hard enough in the head, the brain moves slightly side to side. So a lot of times you'll see where in a concussion where you may get hit in one side of the head, your brain actually slides to the other side and hits your skull on the interior on the opposite side. There's some great testing going on with helmet sensors. There are sensors that have been placed inside helmets, outside of helmets. All of those are designed to detect the level of trauma to the skull. Football helmet manufacturer Riddell selected Cathedral Catholic as the first high school program in the country to use the new InSight helmet which has paper-thin sensors inside that monitor the frequency and magnitude of hits. I know there's a lot of research going on, and I think it's really going to take kind of a different approach to uh, how the helmet's designed in terms of, you know, trying to prevent concussions. I, I think certainly some of the rule changes and things that have been made have gone a long way in cutting down on concussions. Even with these new, groundbreaking technologies, some problems are more difficult to solve. It's a shoulder pad, but it's still into the chest area, and he's feeling it. I've had cases where we have um, athletes who have been hit so hard, and the concussion is so severe that they're literally knocked out, and they're unconscious. Oh, and he's vomiting on the field yeah, you gotta get him after out that there. hit by Cody Pruitt. Test that. If you have an unconscious athlete, your ability to assess that athlete's neck and other injuries is greatly diminished because that athlete can't talk to you, they can't respond. 
Some players know the risks and yet continue to play the sport. I'm the team physician for Highlands High School Athletics. Um, one of the roles that I play is uh, spend a lot of time on the sidelines of uh, the varsity football games. There's no way to prevent injuries you know, anywhere. You know, whether you're driving down the street, getting out of your car, or playing sports, you just have to prepare yourself physically the best you possibly can. Be aware of the certain scenarios and always react in the situations. Can I say to an athlete, my computer says you took a hit and then have that athlete tell me, I feel fine. I didn't get any symptoms whatsoever. I think guys that, that play sports don't play sports thinking about that kind of stuff. You play the game to, to get the camaraderie and get the, the teamwork out of it. Thank mm -hmm. you.